everyone, Valdestot here. And I'm running solo today, working Uber Eats, and uh, just dropped off the missus at work, and I'm starting to head out to do my day. So, just making this video because I think it's really pertinent since a lot of gig app YouTubers are talking about it. Um, what's kind of relevant about this is, is that DoorDash Dad, a few days ago, posted a survey poll on his channel. And in a nutshell, he asked if gig drivers are willing to go back to a W-2. And what was surprising is, is the majority of people said yes, or they already were working a W-2. And uh, only a small minority said they'll never go back. So here's the thing. Do you think that by all the shenanigans that the W-2s in the past have done is worth going back to since the pay rate is higher because the gig apps pay has constantly decreased, whether it's because of lower volumes or the companies wanting to appease their stockholders, they gotta cut costs, and the number one cost, obviously, for in their minds, are the drivers. So, it made me think, do you think the gig apps are trying to get rid of the veteran drivers as the old, you know, I, I would say conspiracy theory that rolls around in every driver's mind, right? Veterans have a lot of experience. They're the ones that decline the most orders, etc. Do you think that they're trying to just do that as the sole reason by doing everything that they're doing? Lowering pay and treating us like employees and punishing us in DoorDash's world of, uh, you know, too many declines equals a pause and all this stuff, right? Or do you think that what they're doing is hurting the uh, the gig app platforms what by forcing people out meaning less drivers out there sure there's a lot of new incoming drivers as well but if they keep this up they're gonna lose them in the end as well so is it worth all this that the gig apps are doing I mean because ultimately it's the drivers that basically make them their money. So what do you think? Is it by design that they're doing this or are they shooting themselves in the foot by having drivers start migrating back to W-2s? I mean, I left DoorDash almost two months ago now and, and to be frank, I couldn't be happier. Uh, you know, the amount of offers that I reject now are probably maybe 20% overall between Grubhub and uh, Uber Eats. And to deliver that, I usually just like take the majority of them. But my acceptance rates have never been higher without DoorDash. So I know what a lot of people are thinking, well, DoorDash is the biggest and there's a whole lot more volume everywhere with DoorDash and all this, but rejecting orders continually is definitely not helping DoorDash's cause either. Yes, I know there are a lot of morons out there that will take these two, three dollar orders. They're typically newer drivers or top dashers possibly which in turn hurts everyone in the process, but hey, you know, they're quote unquote independent contractors and they have a right to take and reject whatever they want, right? Just like the rest of us. But the fact remains is the question, is or are the gig apps lowering pay, hurting their own cause or the rules namely DoorDash, hurting their cause by having drivers migrate back to a W-2. And I'm basing this solely on DoorDash Dad and Hannibal is Hungry's polls, okay? So 
what do y'all think? Leave a comment below and let me know if you have gone back personally on my channel, have gone back to a W-2 or are you, will you never go back to a W-2 or are you doing both part-time like I am? Thanks for watching and uh, I guess hopefully I will get a Uber Eats order because right now, uh, can't do it just yet. I gotta actually be pulled over. So one second, or a red light. Since the missus isn't here, I am actually online. Haven't gotten an order in about 10 minutes. And it is 12.01 Eastern time. So yeah, it may be one of those days and it is a Thursday, but we shall see. Take care everyone and have a great day.